I've got to say, the modern players are getting weak. Seriously. <laughs> in the old days, the crowd invaded the field at the final siren. It was normal. That's true. Some of the pats on backs were very forceful pats <laughs> on the back. So that happened every week. The modern players not used to that kind of interaction with the fans. So the greatest player of the 20th century touched on a nerve for me because what, was so, what it, it showed to me, that whole experience, was how starved supporters are now mm. to, to touch their heroes. I mean, it, it's just so different than the way it used to be and that's what made Friday night so unique. You don't have to be a curmudgeon, Matthew, to say it got a bit uncomfortable. Mm. I, I, after nine minutes seeing Buddy enveloped like that, I got uncomfortable watching it and the loud music and when are they going to let him out? And you don't have to be Pollyanna to say it was one of the greatest things I've ever seen in footy. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. After the, It was the length of time that he was yep. out there for that I was concerned about. And, and Lee's point, there was no phones and there was no one recording you and selfie sticks and everything that can do It, a it was a beautiful, beautiful it was, moment. It was. Lord, I, I was listening to you on uh, 3AW on Friday night in the yep. lead-up to that game and you were speaking about a separate topic. I think it might have been um, Dustin Martin and when you know you've fallen out of yep. love of the game. You were 31 when you retired on 926 goals. Was there envy there on Friday and do you wish that you'd gone on to a thousand? Okay, I did get a lot of messages from a lot of people who um, you know, I never thought I would have heard from um, and they said, oh, I, I wish you hung around to do that. And uh, so it's more, uh, and family and things like that, I'll admit they did mention it and would have said, you know, I think you deserved it and should have done that. But for me, um, when I retired, it was nothing about thinking about, say, getting to 300 games or to a thousand goals. I wasn't happy uh, and I wasn't enjoying myself and uh, talk about becoming a chore. Football was the biggest chore for me um, and it really hit me. I remember I was driving through the Botanical Gardens one night to play Carlton in front of 85,000 people. I saw a guy chasing his kid through the Botanical Gardens and I thought, geez, I'd love to be doing that right now. And I thought, that is not me. I've had the fire in the belly for so long and I knew it was time for me to go. So if I was to achieve it, I need to go to another environment and see if I could get my love back for the game. But my fear at that time was, imagine I signed for two years at Carlton or Collingwood or Sydney or the Bulldogs who all had a little interest and I didn't have my love back. Yeah. What a terrible way to end your career. So I wonder if Kevin was Sheedy was still coaching you because he would have thought about a thousand goals. He would have had his eye on history. Yeah. Maybe had he been there, might things have been different? Yeah, and I'll let you in on something that a year after retirement, I got a call from James Hurden uh, to come into the footy club and uh, about a coaching role. And I got there and he and Brendan McCartney were there and Brendan McCartney said, Hurdy, man up and ask him what you really want to ask him. And he said, would you, we got a spot on your list, would you come back? And play a year after. Year after I retired. James Hurd asked you to come back yeah, and play. And I said, "Hurdy, now the day I retired, I was a lot happier the day I retired than when I was when I was still playing." So, um, Justin Kaczynski said one day, "I can't remember the last time I enjoyed playing a mm. game of footy." Mm. People were surprised by that, but that was me for my last few years. So, uh, I haven't got any regrets. I haven't all. heard that story yeah. before. Yeah. No, I no, I don't. Yeah. No, that's. Um, so James Hurd asked you to come yeah. back in his first year of coach. Yes, that's right, yeah. And he said to me, he goes, I know you're not what you, you were, but I still think you're capable of kicking 50 goals a season. There's not many who can do that. And I said, no, nah, I'm done.